I expected the YouTube world to go crazy posting exposed videos on this issue. Hey, that's what they do on YouTube. But I also expected some people to be above that, or at least above taking the common low road when addressing this issue. I left comments on one person's page because he is a brother whose efforts on YouTube I respect and his involvement in the issue seemed out of character. In this video I'm responding to, Ebony Princess says that a person is showing their true colors and underlying immorality, basically if they had any issue with those exposed videos. I bring that up because in the comments she accused me of condoning the sister's behavior because I simply disagreed with the methods and tactics used during these exposure videos. I was accused of defending the sister and black women doing porn and she accused me of this because of the initial statement I left and this is the statement. Be careful not to get dragged in by distractions such as these brother just far. Attempting to expose this sister does nothing for our people. It simply provides drama to those who are drama hungry. Uplift humanity. Reach out to the sister possibly, but don't tear her down. That is the easy path that the group minded will travel. Set yourself apart. Uplift humanity. Peace my brother. And with that, I was simply reminding the brother that we and others like us don't do what everybody else does. Now, Ebony Princess, I understand you are condemning people that will pat the sister on the back for making the porno, but you are also condemning others such as myself. You are condemning us for being able to see the bigger picture and not simply going along with this knee-jerk reaction, group think mob mentality brought out by these exposed videos. Now let's be clear. I, for one, can disagree with the way those videos were produced and still not condone the immorality the sister participated in. Now, I didn't get dragged in with this video. I'm jumping in with both feet because there's a method to my madness. Now check it. This is what I'm on. I see this as an opportunity for us to truly use this as a learning experience. And no, black women will not learn that appearing in porn is immoral from watching these exposed videos. So let's stop pretending these videos are to teach sisters what not to do or how bad they'll get blasted on YouTube for doing them. Uh, the ones that will make porn couldn't care less about how YouTubers perceive them. The, uh, the people making the video say they are making an example out of her, but what they are really doing is capitalizing on the drama, like reality TV at its finest. How many people need to do exposed videos on this same person? There was a comment made that stated, making those exposed videos you know, calling sisters hoes and slugs, etc. is how a good black man addresses issues. And to that I say, well, where are all the great black men at? Newsflash. There is a correct way and an incorrect way to address issues amongst our people. It ain't hard to tell. Don't believe me? Ask all those people that made all of those videos dissing sisters with perms. Ask them how that worked out for them. How many sisters did they convert? I never said don't address the issue. Of course it should be addressed to provide some type of damage control for those younger impressionable sisters watching. But one should be well equipped and use care when addressing any issue with our people. And that leads to my point about making this a learning experience. The bigger picture I see is that this is less about what the sister did and more about how we as a people react to it and address it. See, the ultimate problem is that we do not know how to love ourselves or each other as a people. For those of you that insist you are concerned about uplifting our people, Community wise, you must learn that love is the very first lesson, the very first attribute that you must encompass, that you must master when it comes to consciousness and our people. 
That is why you learn all that history information, to learn how to love your true legacy. That is why, that is what Know Thyself is about, to learn to love yourself enough to fully be self. And since we don't know how to love each other as a people, we don't know how to offer compassionate correction. Who do we learn that from? That to correct someone, you are supposed to crucify them in public like many are doing this sister. We attempt to shame each other into submission, which only serves to display the heartlessness we have amongst our own people. We will turn on each other savagely at the drop of a hat, and that in turn is displayed on this world stage. We call YouTube for all other peoples to see. We have to conduct ourselves responsibly in everything that we do. So in turn, now we have two negative images to deal with. The negative image of the sisters' immoral display, and then the harsh, cruel, negative crucifixion we are subjecting her to. So when people toss around words like hypocrite, we have to be careful that we are not ourselves exemplifying what it means to be a hypocrite when we pretend to want to bring about the best for our people yet we can't find any heart inside of us to compassionately deal with one of our own when they are not at their best consciousness is step one but the levels that follow are more than about simply having a profound sense of wanting better for our people it's about evolving and part of what needs to evolve is how we interact with our people all of them the flaw with this whole thing is the way people who consider themselves serious-minded individuals and portray that they themselves are concerned for the state of our people recklessly addressed the issue. There comes a point when those of us that feel we truly want to be of benefit to our people must use our better judgment when addressing issues such as these. We must address them in a way that is beneficial for the growth of our people and not simply post sensationalized videos that simply state the obvious without offering sound guidance. If you consider yourself conscious and you are enjoying the sister's crucifixion, then you need to check yourself. Just imagine, just imagine if the sister would have been a blood sister of one of those posters. Would they have blasted her without any compassion the way they did? If the sister had been your daughter, would you be co-signing and adding insults the way many of you did in those comment sections? What if it had been your mother? We would have addressed the situation and commented on the situation in a much more reasonable, compassionate, and civilized manner because of the respect we would have for our sister, our daughter, our mother. You say you love your people. Well, she is your people. And real love wouldn't have turned on her like that despite her immoral missteps. Yeah, we say we love our people. Anyway, peace.